I'm with CU Medicine Interventional Radiologist, Dr. Lee Kasataban to talk about a new procedure for knee pain due to osteoarthritis, genicular artery embolization. More about what that is in just a moment, but first, Dr. Kasataban, as an interventional radiologist, just talk about what work you do. Interventional radiology is a um, procedural-based specialty. So we perform procedures using radiology guidance. So this requires lots of training. We actually are dual board certified in diagnostic radiology as well as interventional radiology. Let's talk more about genicular artery embolization. This is a new procedure, correct? It is. It was first developed in Japan about four or five years ago and has recently come over to the U.S. Um, there's been a few studies published with really, really good results. And there was a clinical trial recently out of UCLA where you came from. Talk about how this procedure improved pain for the patients in the trial. Yeah, so at UCLA, they just finished a 40-patient clinical trial where they performed this procedure for knee pain. Um, the patients did remarkably well. 68% of patients saw a 50% reduction in their knee pain after the procedure. They saw these results as early as one week after the procedure, and the response was durable even up to 12 months afterwards. Just tell us a little bit more about the procedure. Is it open surgery? What does it look like for the patient? Um, yeah, just talk a little bit more about exactly how the procedure is performed. So this is a minimally invasive outpatient procedure. So the patient would come into the interventional radiology suite in the morning. Um, they get worked up with the nurse and get an IV placed. And then the procedure itself is performed under conscious sedation. So you don't need anesthesia to have this procedure. Um, basically, we perform pinhole size surgery. So we make a very small incision, usually at the crease of the leg, to get into the blood vessels. And from there, we place a small catheter that's just one millimeter in size. Through that small catheter, we use x-ray guidance to show us where we're going. We use wires and even smaller catheters inside there and some contrast dye. Once we make our way into the very small arteries that supply the knee, we can select each one. What we're looking for is an area of increased blood flow that corresponds to the patient's area of pain. Um, usually once we select this vessel, the patients will know right away. Once we get into the specific arteries that we wanna treat, we place these small beads um, and this device actually just received FDA breakthrough designation status for this treatment in particular. And these small beads go inside the artery and they sort of plug up the blood flow to the areas of increased blood flow that are abnormal. We're not trying to remove the blood vessels or damage the blood vessels at all. We're just trying to decrease the abnormal blood flow to the areas of pain in the knee. After that procedure, we uh, remove the small catheter. Um, we hold manual pressure over that site and the patient should be able to go home within four hours after the procedure. You mentioned increased blood flow. Is that the same as an increased inflammation of the knee? Yes. So historically, we've always thought of knee pain or knee osteoarthritis is the medical term as being a wear and tear disease. But actually, we're learning more about it. It's actually inflammation has a lot to do with the knee pain as well. So we believe that the areas of increased blood flow that we see on imaging corresponds to inflammation that is actually found in the knee that's causing the knee pain. The ideal candidate would be a patient who's had long-standing knee pain for at least four to six months um, with no recent injury that may have caused their pain, but sort of more of a wear and tear disease of their knee. Um, but we like to see that they have at least tried some other therapies, either over-the-counter medications, pain medications. Um, maybe they've tried a joint injection um, perhaps that they've tried some physical therapy, but we want to see that they've at least tried something to treat their knee pain before coming in for the procedure. 